All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are going to go over uh, practice problem number two from unit three, lesson uh, five. So let's first start by reading the problem. To paint a house, a company, a painting company charges a flat rate of $500 for supplies plus $50 for each hour of labor. Here we uh, have a graph. Question A, how much would the painting company charge to paint a house that needs 20 hours of labor? A house that needs 50 hours of labor. Uh, part B, draw a line representing the relationship between X, the number of hours it takes the painting company to finish a house, and Y, the total cost of painting the house. Label the two points from the earlier question on your graph. And then part C, find the slope of the line. What is, what is the meaning of the slope in this context? <clears throat> okay, so the first thing that I'm going to notice and I want you to pay attention to is that this company is charging 500 for supplies. Now that 500 for supplies, you would pay it only one time. It doesn't matter how many hours the company works, it's going to be 500. And then plus 50 for each hour. So what I'm going to start here on the left side is I'm going to start with a table of numbers just to illustrate what's happening here. All right, so here I have my table. This left column here is the number of hours. This right column is the amount of money that the company charges. So now here for one hour, the company is gonna charge, it's $50 each hour plus 500 for supplies. So it's going to be 50 plus 500, which is 550. Okay, now I'm going to do two hours, which is going to be for the um, hours, it's $100 for each hour, right? So it's $50 plus $50, that's 100 plus the supplies, which are 500 which is 600 So for 10 hours, a company is going to charge 50 for each hour, that's 500 So 500 plus... How much are the supplies? $500. You should notice here that the supplies are always 500 no matter how many hours, okay? This first 500 I got by doing 10 times 50. Now for 20, it's going to be 20 times 50, which is 1,000, plus the supplies. How much is it for the supplies? 500 which is 1,500. So now here you can see here, and that with this, remember, this is not proportional, so the doubling doesn't work, okay? So now I'm, I'm kind of, I'm still working on this part, so I know 20 hours is 1,500. So to do 50 hours, what I'm going to do is calculate the same pattern here. I'm going to do that right here on the right. For 50 hours, this is just the hours. It's going to be 50 times 50 because it's $50 every hour or $2,500. Plus the supplies. The supplies are $500. So I add this and I get $3,000. $3,000. All right, so now I'm going to do part B, draw the line representing the relationship between X, the number of hours, and Y, the total cost of painting. Label the two points earlier, earlier question on the graph. So we're gonna make sure that we label 20 hours and uh, 50 hours, all right? All right, so now I'm gonna do part B, draw a line representing the relationship between X, the number of hours, it takes a, <clears throat> painting the house and why the total cost of painting label the two points on the graph. So I'm going to, I'm going to make sure that I label 20 hours and 50 hours. Okay. So I'm going to take points here on the table. I'm going to start with 10 just because of the way the scale is. I know 10 is a thousand. So 10, a thousand, I'm going to put my point there. 20 is 1,500. And 50 is 3,000.
my point there. And now you see all three of these points line up. Now I'm going to draw the line. All right, now I have my line there and I'm going to just quickly label the points that I, uh, that I know, 20 hours and 50 hours, okay? So now I have my points labeled, right? 20 hours, $1,500, 50 hours, $3,000. And I want you to see here the starting number, this number here where the graph starts from is 500. Now, where do you see the number 500 in the original problem? It's the $500 for the supplies. Just something there to note. Okay, so now we're going to do part C, find the slope of the line. Remember that slope is the vertical over the horizontal. So I can pick two points here, draw a slope triangle. Once I tell, once you know what the slope is, you're going to see what it is in the problem. Okay, so here I have two uh, slope triangles. Remember, with, and with do, when you're doing slope, it doesn't matter which slope triangle you use. You will get the same number. So I'm just going to tell you, count what those are. All right, and so here in this small triangle, the vertical number is 500, right? It goes by, um, <clears throat> it goes from here to here, from the 10, 1,000 to 1,500 is 500, so that's that vertical change. The horizontal change, it goes from, 20, from 10 to the number 20, which is a change of 20. So now my the slope right here, it will be the vertical over horizontal, which is 500 over 10. Right, so I have 500 over 10, that's the slope. I can simplify this, and when I simplify, I get 50. Now, the second part of the problem is, what is the meaning of the slope in this context? The number 50 should look familiar to something in the problem. 50 is the amount of dollars per hour. So that's what the slope means in this context. $50 per one hour. So the slope here, it means $50 in one hour. That's how much the company charges. They charge $50 per hour. All right. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.